Welcome on the Nerlog channel and on this second video about solar exposure simulation of buildings where in this part 2 we will get into more details about the influence of the solar caps and cheeks on buildings. We get back to our cube still located in Paris where now we're gonna have one cap on top of the south face and also another cap uh, on the middle of it so that we'll try to reduce the impact of sun in summer on the south face. Thanks to the sketch of simulation we then calculate the sun impact from the sun rise to the sunset on the south face of the building. Thanks to the decomposition in little squares on this uh, south face, we statistically built uh, uh, solar impact uh, from uh, June to August here. We can see here quite easily that the two caps that we have added um, make the shading extremely good for the for the south face, and it can be even better if we think about adding cheeks to it. And then we do it and we see that the uh, cumulative effect of the caps and the cheeks reduced uh, nearly to zero the impact of the sun on the south face of the cube from June to August. In a nut, we see adding simple solutions like caps and cheeks to our buildings. We went from something like 70% of solar impact during, during summer on the south face to nearly zero. And then you're gonna say, okay, but what about winter? Let's look at it. We'll see here that with only caps it doesn't really affect the sun coating in the south face of the cube and if we have the caps and the cheeks, same story, we'll we still get a lot of sun coming in winter from January to March. The interest then of the caps for summer time is extremely good whereas in winter it's not a problem. If you have found this video interesting just take a look at the others on the channel and see you. Bye!